a very special day for the Dodgers skipper, Dave Roberts. He takes his Dodgers team out to the Jackie Robinson statue every April 15th, and here was his message to the team. Jackie was chosen to be that person to be able to fight the fight for all of us to give us this opportunity. His goal in life, his legacy, when we talk about legacy, what is legacy? Jackie understood this very early, that legacy is doing something amazing for a long period of time that affects people and people are drawn and willing and wanting to talk more about those stories to keep his life living. This is a day that allows us to go out to reflect, to recognize and truly really honor an individual that had an impact greater than baseball. Here's Michael Grove, two very different starts, Earl. He was solid in his first start of the season against the Rockies, but then against Arizona on Sunday gave up nine runs on 12 hits. Just moments ago, Jason Hayward addressed the entire crowd with a microphone standing down around home plate, addressed both teams out by the Jackie Robinson statue much earlier today. And off we go with a fly ball to center field. Hayward to the track. Jason Hayward the grab. Poetry. Baseball is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Time and again. 2-2 from Grove to Swanson. He got him swinging. Dansby Swanson with a 4-4 four for four game on Tuesday is 0-6 for six with 6 Ks in this series. Fly ball right field. Mookie Betts steps into the sunshine and puts it away. And the one, two, three, first inning on nine pitches for Michael Grove. Jamison Tyone starting for the Cubs tonight has a record of 0-2 and, and an ERA of seven. Both of his losses at Wrigley. A bit of a lull for Freeman lately. One for his last 17. Another 3-2 to Freeman is lifted off the end of the bat. Left center field. Hap coming on. Not going to get there. Freeman goes about halfway to second and then retreats throw behind him and it's close. Woo. Boy, I mean he got a long ways to second and then just kind of took his time getting back two on two out for James Altman. In the air playable center field. Woo. Now that's over with. Indeed Bellinger puts the squeeze on it and the Dodgers leave a couple Bellinger some great memories last night. All right hurry up and get in there. Get in there. Don't, don't, don't listen to the crowd. And for those that weren't here last night, the ovation was unbelievable to begin with. Everybody was standing, and he got penalized for the first pitch strike. Swing and a broken bat flare. That'll fall for a hit. He'll take it as it finds space in right field, and Bellinger is aboard. So with one out, Cody a single. He had the double last night. Mancini bounces out. Eric Hosmer coming up. And now Hosmer on the first pitch he sees pops it up left side of the infield Rojas the shortstops underneath it makes a catch and the inning is over the seed of the idea to everybody wearing 42 came from the guy that inspired Jason Hayward to become a big leaguer himself he lifts a fly ball to center field that sends Bellinger back onto the track at the wall Bellinger brings it back a robbery from Cody Bellinger taking a home run away from the guy that he's traded places with. He, he's getting glued and he's holding out his arms like really amazing. Absolutely amazing this sport. Horner at first Dansby Swanson due up Cubs and Dodgers no score were in the third. There goes the runner pitches outside throw down a second and it's a stolen base he's eight for eight. The Cubs as a team are 15 for 18. On the ground to third, Muncie throws out Swanson, and the inning over. And a good at bat, Mancini able to draw the walk, and the leadoff man is aboard. Osmer popped to short in his first at bat. He grounds it slowly to second base. Vargas throws the second out at second on the first. Double play. Miguel Vargas, until this year, never really played second base. Two away, here's Patrick Wisdom. Patrick the homer last night. In the air center field that one back Hayward gets turned around and he'll watch it go Patrick wisdom another home run his fifth and it's given the Cubs a one nothing lead a laser to center field so a leadoff walk for Hayward Let's see what the Dodgers can do with that gift from Tyon goes again three two again bouncing ball to waiting Horner I think Hayward got there first he did and so they stay out of the double play and Hayward's foot arrives first we're going to take a look Ooh, it might be out toe get there before Jason's heel sure looks like it 
Yeah, I think we're going to have the end of the inning. Both is challenging the safe call at second base. This one shouldn't take long. Do that, sure. Yep. After review, the call on the field stands. All right. The runner is <laughs> safe. Chicago Not enough evidence. Challenge. That is a really good call out there. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. And Hayward is stranded at second base. Michael Grove only given up a bloop and a blast. And that's the one nothing difference in this game. He's thrown the ball very well. This is the crispest we have seen his stuff. Here's a 3 2. Fly ball straight away center. Now drifting on back a step or two. Jason Hayward makes the catch. First out of the sixth inning. We Swanson down on strikes again. He's getting close to a record, I would think. Dave Roberts out there to talk to Michael Grove, who doesn't want to give that ball away without a little bit of a fight. Five and two thirds. Excellent tonight from Michael Grove. And now the bullpen will try to give the offense a chance to battle back and get him off the hook. In the year, foul off first. Freeman will slow down and make the catch. Messia gets half. Patrick Wisdom, a fifth inning home run just to the left of dead center. He rips one to left field here that Altman comes out and grabs for the first out of the eighth. A headlong dive coming in from left field, robbing wisdom of a hit. If it gets past him, it goes to the wall. Bases are loaded. Barnhart the runner at third, Horner at second, and Swanson at first. 2-2. Two -two. Got him. Another chase. Big strikeout for Caleb Ferguson and two gone in the eighth. Ferguson trying to get out of this mess. He does with back-to-back. I think Madrigal is the uh, the pinch runner. Yeah, he's 5'8", and the smallest fella on the field, so it is Madrigal. There he goes. Go down to second. Tag save. Madrigal got his foot in. I think it was all about the tag. I think the throw was there in plenty of time. Chopper to short. Rojas goes to third. They've got Madrigal in a rundown. Vargas flips to third. That's the inning. All right, passing those seatbelts to the bottom of the ninth we go. The Cubs won the Dodgers nothing. Dodgers now looking for a run. Dodgers don't have a hit since the second inning of this game. His 1-0 pitch. Altman into right center field. Here comes Suzuki. Won't get there. Tying run aboard in the ninth inning. And the Dodgers have their first hit since the second. 2-1 pitch. Vargas pulls one to third. It's fair. It's down the line and off the sidewall. Ricochets to half. Winning run. Scoring position. The pressure on Peralta's shoulders here. Two rookies set the table. Can a veteran clear it and end it? Fulmer deals. Peralta grabs one through. Tying run is in. Winning run comes home. The throw is late. Dodgers win. David Peralta, tonight's hero. And it feels like more important than your average walk-off win, doesn't it? It really does. 